Rangers hosting the Brewers, and the Brewers are minus 102 on the money line. The Rangers are minus 117. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 167, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two. And the Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 192, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, when I make my picks, it's generally based off of the pitchers that you see listed here. And these are the overnight odds they're going to change, and especially if they decide that they're going to change a pitcher overnight. So keep that in mind. Woodruff did not pitch against the Rangers either last year or the year before. They are 3-1 and one as a team in his four starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and six and a half strikeouts per game in those games. He has not thrown over 100 pitches this season. Uh, two earned runs, five strikeouts, 86 pitches. Two earned runs, nine strikeouts, 85 pitches. No earned runs, four strikeouts, 84 pitches. One earned run, eight strikeouts, 97 pitches. That's his four appearances so far this year. Heaney did pitch against the Brewers last year as a member of the Dodgers. Uh, four and two-thirds, five runs, three of which were earned. They lost that game five to three. That was in Milwaukee, and he struck out ten. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 12 to six, and he struck out 10 in that game as well. They are six and four as a team in his last 10 starts. He's averaging four and two thirds innings pitched and 4.9 strikeouts per game in those games. He's got an ERA of 1.6 in his last five starts. They've won his last four starts. He has not thrown over 100 pitches in his last five outings. Uh, one earned run, one strikeout, 40 pitches. No earned runs, four strikeouts, 81 pitches. No earned runs, 11 strikeouts, 80 pitches. Three earned runs, three strikeouts, 90 pitches. Four earned runs, three strikeouts, 72 pitches. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 6-4. and four. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The underdog, getting a run and a half on the run line, is 8-2. and two. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last three games that they've played against each other. The under has hit in their last two, the over is six and four, and the over eight is six and four in their last 10. The last time they played against each other was a three game set in Milwaukee in 2019. The Brewers took the first two games six, five and three to two, and then lost one nothing in the final game. The Brewers are six and four in their last 10. They are two and two in their last four. They're on a two game losing streak, and the over is five, four and one in their last 10 games. Beating the White Sox three to two, beating the White Sox 7-3, and then losing back-to-back -back games to the Dodgers, 6-2 and 7-1. For the Rangers, they are 7-3 in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4, and the under is 7-3 in their last 10. Losing to the Giants 3-2, then beating the Angels 12-0, 7-3, and then losing to the Angels 2-0. I like the Rangers here as a home underdog. I'm going to take the Rangers with the money line. I'm going to take the Rangers laying the runs. And I understand that both of these pitchers have an ERA of sub two. But ultimately, they're both going to end up coming out of this game. And I think the bullpen is going to screw it for one of these teams. So I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.